welcome back. God creates out of nothing. His word continues to create. And what does he create? He creates you. There's this great psalm, and I, I, I'm losing the number here, but it's, it's somewhere between 1 and 150, so it's somewhere in there. But it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God has knit you in your mother's inner womb. He, he, he knows you. It's not like you're an accident. That's, that's a funny part, right? Have you ever heard someone say to a child, like, oh, you were an accident? Like, but it was a joyful accident. No, there's no accidents here. God doesn't make accidents. He doesn't do oopsies. There's no uh, white out with God. There's no eraser. None of that stuff. Everything is according to God's will and plan. You are not a mistake. I'm not a mistake. No one is a mistake. Thanks be to God for that. All are created by God. You are created by God. He knits you in your mother's room. You are fearfully, meaning carefully and wonderfully made. Every part of you, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your tongue, your lips, your teeth, your hair, your, you know, you may say, oh, I wish I could have this. No, embrace what you look like. It's amazing, you know? I always embrace. That's why I wear crop tops. I'm joking. I only did that one time at a Higher Things event to embarrass all the kids in our youth group. Sadly, they hung around me too much. They're not embarrassed by anything. But God makes this, and it's beautiful. And he makes it by his loving word. He creates you as you are. And you hear this all the time in, like, in, in songs. We see it in like pop culture right now. Embrace you. Feel beautiful in your own skin. God did that before it was popular. He did it before it was uh, accepted by society. Where there's these norms. No, you are how God has created you to be. He has redeemed you in Christ. Cleansed you. Sanctified you by the Holy Spirit. Your flesh will not perish eternally, but will be raised up on the last day because God has not only created you, he's redeemed you and sanctified you to live unto eternity. So just as God created rivers and oceans and dolphins and whales, now, uh, last time it was primates, now we're into water animals, he's also created you purely by his grace alone, that you may be his wonderful creation. So whenever you're feeling kind of down about yourself, now, that's not what theology is always for, right? It's like a pep talk. But the reality is when you're despairing about yourself, what you look like, how you feel, know that God has knit you. He has made you. And he sustains his creation. He protects his creation. He adores his creation. He adores you. So God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number four, L-I-F-E dot org.